This video demonstrates how to construct a light activated alarm. Also called a shadow detector, this light sensitive device will sound an alarm when a light beam is blocked. Before we get into the electronics, let's take a look at creating a light beam. This is a standard magnifying glass, a hand lens. The lens in this magnifying glass is double convex. Both surfaces curve out. Lenses are designed to refract, that is, bend or change the direction of light. We can use this lens and an LED to create a beam. When an LED is properly positioned, the diverging light it emits will strike the curved surface of the lens in such a way that the light emerging from the lens will become a beam focusing light energy at a distance. You can see the effect here. I adjust the lens to LED distance to create the tightest beam. I mounted the LED on a wood structure. And I attached the lens to a block such that the center of the lens is aligned with the LED. Sliding the block I can adjust the lens to LED distance to create the desired beam. I used an elastic band to secure the lens in position. This completes the beam. A safety caution with LEDs. You must control the current flowing through an LED, usually with a resistor. LEDs have different voltage current requirements. Check the specs of the LED to operate it safely. The LED I am using required a 470 ohm resistor with a 9 volt power supply. The next step is to build a tone generator, something to create and control sound. I'm going to borrow a short sequence from our video, Sound and Electronics. Step-by-step -step instructions for building a tone generator. When completed, I'll explain how to modify this circuit so it will function as an alarm. The heart of this project is a readily available and inexpensive integrated circuit, a 555 timer. These devices are available from most electronic supply stores, often for less than a dollar. Completing this project requires some knowledge of electricity and electronic components. Visit our website at hyloroad.com 555 for a series of instructional videos covering everything you need to know to build a circuit like this. In the following instructions, I will assume you have reviewed this material and are familiar with basic circuit construction as well as procedures for working safely with electricity. Only use a low voltage, low current battery to power this project. Let's build this basic tone generator. This is the circuit diagram for our circuit. You'll find this diagram at our website. Plug a 555 integrated circuit into a breadboard. Let's start by connecting a wire from pin 2 to pin 6. Now resistor R1, a 330 ohm resistor from pin 2 to pin 7. Next another resistor, R2, a 2200 ohm resistor from pin 7 to the positive power supply line, the red line. Next, we need a 1 microfarad capacitor, C1. This connects from pin 2 to the negative power supply line, the blue line. Watch the polarity, positive to pin 2. Next, we need a wire from pin 4 to the positive power supply line. We're going to drive a speaker from pin 3. This means we have to connect a 10 microfarad capacitor from pin 3 to an unused row on the breadboard, like this. Watch the polarity, positive to pin 3. The next two connections require a wire from pin 8 to the positive supply line and another wire from pin 1 to the negative supply line. You will need a speaker. I removed this one from a small set of computer speakers. Your speaker may be polarized with a plus and minus symbol on the connectors. Speakers are connected by two wires. For our circuit, one wire connects to the negative end of the 10 microfarad capacitor. This is at that unused row. 
The other wire connects to the negative power supply line. We're ready to connect our power supply, a 9 volt battery. Do not use any power supply larger than a 9 volt low current battery like this one. Be careful you don't touch the two leads of this battery together. Even a small battery like this can cause burns when short circuited. Connect the battery to the supply lines with correct polarity and you should have a tone. We can change the frequency of the tone by changing C1 or R2. Let's change the resistor, R2. If we change R2 to 1000 ohms, the tone sounds like this. Change R2 to 3300 ohms, and the tone sounds like this. This 33000 ohm resistor creates this tone. Next, we will modify this circuit so that the tone will sound when a light beam is interrupted. We can accomplish this by adding two components to this circuit, a 100,000 ohm resistor and an LDR, or light dependent resistor. This is an LDR. Shine light on it and its resistance drops. Place it in a dark location and its resistance increases. This is the circuit diagram of the circuit we have completed. And this is the circuit diagram with two new components. A 100,000 ohm resistor from pin 4 to the positive power supply line. And a light dependent resistor connected from pin 4 to ground, the negative supply line. This is the modification. The first step is to remove the wire connecting pin 4 to the power supply line. Next, we connect the LDR from pin 4 to ground. Ground is the negative battery connection. Notice I used a short blue wire to complete the connection to ground. Next, we connect a 100,000 ohm resistor from pin 4 to the positive supply line, the red line on the board. This resistor has the color bands brown, black, yellow. The circuit is ready to test. Shine light on the LDR and the circuit is quiet. Block the light and the tone sounds. If you attempt to build this, you may have to experiment with the value of the added resistor, R3. 100,000 ohms worked for mine. But the resistance range of the LDR determines the value of R3. And this resistance range varies significantly depending on the design of the LDR. Another approach is to replace R3 with a 200,000 ohm variable resistor. Then adjust the resistance until the circuit works as expected. I placed a black hood on the LDR. This blocks ambient light and improves sensitivity. With the beam focused on the LDR, we can again test circuit operation. Block the light and the tone sounds. Here is a simple layout for our shadow detector, across a doorway. Walk through the beam and the tone sounds, announcing that someone has entered the room. It is possible to take this project beyond simply sounding a tone. Circuits like this can be modified to activate a relay, an electromagnetic switch. This allows control of light, motors, or other electrical devices. If you're interested in learning more, check out our other electronics videos and projects at hyloroad.com slash 555.